Okay, second of two eating videos for this morning. I'm at Henry's Donut in Muckleteo, Snohomish County, Washington State. So it's a city neighboring Everett. And let's see, it was three dollars and thirty-eight cents. I paid with five dollar bill. Tip the sixty-two cents plus. I took in like a dollar of quarters. So I actually tipped like a dollar and sixty-two cents, because um, I, I was like, I was like, I don't think I have thirty-eight cents, but I was like, I'll just throw that in there too. Um, so uh, yeah, it ended up being like a dollar and sixty-two cents tip. I should, yeah, I should have done that at the Peroshki and Graves place too. Uh, friendly worker, they did have social distancing stickers on the floor, um, same as the last place. So I got two donuts. Oh, I need to grab my camera. So I guess you got the price before you got the donuts. Unless, well, I put the donuts in the title in the video and then, yeah. Okay, so up first is a maple bar. Just plain maple bar. No fancy toppings. There's the dealer. We got a lot of pictures of these, so I don't know. All right, so let's get started with that one. Ooh, light and fluffy, nice strong maple flavor, look at that fluffiness, wow, and it's a thin frosting, but uh, flavorful, packs a punch. I love the feel of the donut. Like it looks like it should be greasy, but it's not. It's kind of cool. I know it's been fried, but it's a, or it looks like it's been fried anyway. Fourteen out of ten. I have napkins left over from Peroshki and crepes, which is the Saber Eats we did before this one. I should link to that. I'll link to that in the video description. The cabbage and bacon Peroshki. I will give that a fourteen out of ten. And for those who are wondering why the things I'm ordering tend to get really high ratings, I am actually trying to choose things that are like. I think it might be like the best per my taste buds at the moment. All right, all right, these videos in theory could go a different way if I just was like, I want to try this, this, and this. Right, but I'm, I'm trying to shop for the moment, so to speak. And uh, so I've, I've done something right. Setting the businesses up for success, so to in myself, right? So I don't have a bad dining experience. All right, I, I guess I get, I get a, I'm gonna take a picture and then show you. This is, I can show you the picture. I guess like showing you the picture is like a form of insurance. This is what I ordered. And this is the picture I took. Um, this is a buttermilk bar with just a plain glaze. I don't know what this like, there's a little nugget on top. dough that got fried on top or something or glazed on top I guess glazed, fried and fri fried look at that that's amazing that's beautiful I don't know if they're fried that's very good
the taste reminds me of a perfume. Although, but buttermilk kind of, in general, I guess kind of has that. It's crunchy. I should. Before I annihilate this, I should get another picture. Let's get a picture. And then here's the base again. Buttermilk tasted like a perfume to me when I was a kid. Too. I don't know if it's my lactose intolerance or what. This doesn't stop me from eating dairy products. Kind of like my, I'm actually allergic to wheat. Not gluten intolerant, but allergic to wheat. I still eat wheat. I still eat donuts. I will give that a 20 out of 10. Yes, that was <clears throat> amazing. Perfection and filling entirely satisfying. So that was a sweet eats of a maple bar and buttermilk bar, glazed buttermilk bar from a Henry's Donut, not to be confused with Henry's Donuts. I'll link to that uh, Sweet Eats as well. So that one was Henry's Donuts with a S on the end. So same, almost a similar name, different plurality. And that one was an Everett. Um, but I'll link to that as well as the savory eats I did before this in the video description. And happy Sweet Eats of some delicious donuts.